Yo, what is up everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Joshua Winkins. In this video, I want to go over this really cool magazine cutout letter effect right here. Now this effect is from Cinepax. It's not actually a plugin, it's just an effect that you put as an overlay over your video. And don't worry, this pack is for free, it doesn't cost anything. The only downside to the free pack is that this free pack actually isn't animated, so I actually have to pre-animate all of the different text but I kind of give you a couple ideas and of course if you want the text actually already animated you're gonna to have to buy the actual paid pack which I believe cost $30 but if you don't have $30 to spare I was gonna show you what you can do with the free pack right here so let's go ahead and basically uh, just go ahead and import right here I'll just basically show you what it comes what comes with the actual effect right here so here is a Cinepax letter effect right here and then as you can see right here let's go to symbols right here you have a whole bunch of different symbols um, and then of course it obviously comes with the alphabet which I'll show you in a second but the numbers you have all these different numbers I believe it's all the way 1 through 10 right here so you have all of these different numbers right here and then of course you obviously have all of the letters of the alphabet right there and you basically only have like 1G or 1A you don't have multiple different versions of this letter so that I believe that's something you get in the paid pack um, as well as th these letters aren't going to be animated you actually have to buy the paid pack but that's what it comes with some symbols all 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 the letters of the alphabet and then I believe just numbers 1 through and then just numbers 1 through 10 so you can basically put any number you want or any letter you want right there again it's free and none of these letters are animated so Again, this is what the effect looks like right here. And in case any of you were wondering, this is not a font. You actually have to individually put these letters together. So let's go ahead, create a new project right here. We'll just call this test right here. I'll go ahead and open up it right here. Copy this right here, just to kind of give an example. Now I'm gonna do a very simple one because I don't wanna do two sets of letters right there. But anyways, so here is the video right here. Now what you wanna do, Head over to the import section right here. Now, obviously, you could import all the all the letters. But I'm just gonna go through, and I'm just gonna use my name right here. So let's go ahead and find J, and you basically just keep going through until you find um, your letter that you need. Okay, so there we go. We've found um, the letters of my name. So what you're gonna do is you're just basically going to apply the text to your clip right here. So it's gonna go ahead, click on J right there. Gonna head over here. Actually, I'll just, maybe I, you know, I'll do the scale first. So go to the scale right here. I just like to put it in 30% and then we'll just move this. I would encourage you to keep everything in the middle right here. So keep everything on this line um, right here. So, I'm going to apply an O right here, change the scale to 30% right here, and let's just move it over here. And this is just like a rough tutorial. You can obviously put a lot more time into it. And actually what I realized first, what you're going to do, actually I'll just do it this way and then I'll show you one way you could do to actually fix it. So let's just go ahead, hopefully I don't forget how to spell my name. So what we're going to do is we're head over to the scale right here, um, right there, and let's just move it. I don't know something over here, and I'll show you one. Um, did I actually import H? Okay, I did. There's the H right there, and we're gonna go ahead, just scale to 30%. I only want, I only want to just do like four letters right here, cause it'll just be easier. Now, one thing that I, as I'm doing this, I realize that you don't want to do is you actually want to see put the uh, J up here the O up here because what you don't want to do is the letters overlapping so it may depend on what look you want to go for right there so let's just go ahead just for the sake of tutorial there we go that's pretty good maybe we can move the S just a little bit over here but overall just for the tutorial sake there we go something like that I know I'm gonna a little bit of OCD right here but let's just go ahead and put it I don't know just for the sake of the tutorial no I keep adjusting but there you go let's just say that as for the sake of the tutorial right there so right here all of them are at scaled at 30% and if you play it right here as you can see nothing happens the text does not animate like I said before it doesn't animate because the free version doesn't give you any animations so what you want to do 
is you want to create a compound clip right here so we'll just name it test clip right here so we'll hit ok you want to create a compound clip that way it's much easier to move all of the letters around right here so let's go right here as you can see we can move it entirely around because it's all in one compound clip right here now a couple of things you can do to make the actual text animate is you can apply a handheld effect so let's go to the effects panel right here and type in handheld right here I should have kind of give you a couple different ideas when it comes to animation um, so let's basically we'll leave the shakiness at 20 we'll change the distance to zero because sometimes what happens that distance will actually crop off the text which is obviously not what you want so as you can see right there should move a little bit um, as you can see right there that should be moving a little bit. let's just increase the shakiness I don't know to 50 just for the sake of the video again these are just different ideas when it comes to animations I'll show you everything that I did right here so as you can see right there that should be moving right there so let's go ahead and just you can basically add the handheld effect let's apply the earthquake effect right here so let's apply it onto the text right here uh, so what you want to do is you just let's just increase the earthquake to seven right here and that should work right there so as you can see right here see the text is shaking a little bit but let's just increase this a little bit to like 10 um, right here so it's going to go ahead and as you can see right here see the text is shaking right there so that's one thing you could do you could add the, add the handheld effect you could add the earthquake effect right there now another thing that i found that was cool was this glitch effect that i downloaded from ryan nagle i believe i've already made a video talking about this but i thought this glitch 4 was a pretty cool effect right here um, so let's go ahead and let it render a little bit right here because you can see i think that's a pretty cool and interesting effect right there so you have the glitch 4 effect you have the glitch 4 the earthquake and then I'll just go ahead and head over it again so you want to head over to handheld right there you just want to apply a handheld effect right here and this is just one really cool way to kind of have the text moving a little bit you could change the distance right here or you could just leave the distance normally to 30 right here as you can see right there see the text is moving right there you want to increase the distance a little bit but that's one way of doing it add the handheld effect right there another thing you can do is you could head over the text right here you could change the scale to zero right here keyframe it and let's just say you want to go um one second in so i use a marker right here and we're going to scale this back to 100 percent right there so you basically have what the intro looks like right here you have the text basically scaling up right here you could have the text scale up right like that and then of course you could actually do that effect to multiple um different um like individual um different letters right there and that's kind of one way you could do it right here you could of course let's just say we want to keep the rotation right here let's just go something to one right there and let's change the rotation to uh, 360 right here that should work basically just key from in the rotation right there and there you go as you can see you could have the entire text rotate um, right there so that's one idea you could do so another thing you can do too is you could actually go into the text right here and let's just say I don't know let's go to three seconds right here let's go ahead and press on the M key right here and let's go like one two three four five right there and then one two three four right here so we want to go right here change um, or should we can just keyframe it right here and then we can go to the middle right here change it to 45 percent go back to the marker right here and then of course change it to zero I mean not zero percent uh, 30 percent right there now that should create a really cool pop out effect right there so let's go ahead and just watch the O right here as long as I did it correctly so you can see right there the O kind of like pops out of the name right there so let's just go ahead and just get rid of the animations right there 
There's nothing you can do right here, is I just press right here, and let's go one, two, three, four, five, right here, and then one, two, three, four, five, right here. If we could keyframe the rotation right here, go to here, type in negative 300, and 60 I believe I'm doing this right but I can't remember I think you just change it back to zero right here and that should work but I believe that should work right there so let's go ahead and display it right here and watch the J hopefully I did that correctly as you can see right there you have the J kind of rotates around right there you have a whole bunch of really cool interesting ideas um, right there so that's basically a couple of different ideas you could do when it comes to animating the text right here. So let's open up the one right here. So let's just get rid of this test clip right here. And let's open up this one right here. So as you can see right there, you have the text is basically scaling up right there. Like I said, right here. And then as you can see right here, you have a handheld effect, you have an earthquake effect. And then right here you have a handheld effect and a glitch 4 effect right here. And then of course right here, watch the different letters right here. So you have um, this N right here, which is basically just rotating right here. So as you can see you have a whole bunch of different ideas where you can kind of have the text, the text, the N and the W is rotating while the T and the N is popping up right here. So you're basically just keyframing the scale and rotation right here but that's pretty much it with this effect those are a couple of different animation ideas if you have the free pack because again the free pack doesn't come with any animations but if you actually want the text pre-animated you can definitely go ahead and download the actual paid pack right there so hopefully some of those different ideas helped you and of course if you have other really cool animation ideas definitely go ahead and leave it down in the comment section below anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. I also have Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 130 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. See you in the next one. Peace.